So the pen hip uh, procedure consists of three x-rays. And since we're not currently taking x-rays, I took my gloves off. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate what we're doing and what we're looking for. So the first view is the classic OFA shot. So we're looking at the pelvis when it's extended, um, any uh, signs of arthritis in those hips and, and what the hip conformation looks like. This, this is the same shot that we use for the OFA hip test. And so some people do elect to submit both um, when they do a pen hip so they can also have that OFA. Where pen hip differs is that it has two additional shots. So the, um, the next two shots are looking at how the hips conform in, in the hip socket. And so we basically the, try to put uh, those, those hips in that socket as much as we can in the next shot for comparison purposes. What is it in a normal um, position? And then the last shot, and Diane, I'll have you demonstrate if you want to hop maybe on the side of the table. The last shot, which is very specific to pen hip, is called the distracted view. So this tool is called a distractor. This is specific to the pen hip procedure. It has uh, adjustable bars. They're foam with some PVC pipe on the inside, and you can move them to the width of the hips of the dog. Um, this dog is small, so it's pretty narrow. And so the purpose of this tool is to put some outward pressure on the hips. So we're not trying to move the hips out of the socket, um, but just to put a little bit of pressure and see the extent of laxity, because ultimately pen hip gives you a number to quantify the degree of laxity of those hips. And so I'll have uh, Diane here as being a wonderful model. Um, and so we, we put that distractor over the hips and then apply some pressure. So this is, this is how the shot looks. Um, it's a little cockeyed at this point since we're going around the table, but uh, you can see how it puts a little bit of pressure on those hips and then you can use that as comparison to the, that second shot that we did to see how the hips look normally versus when there's a little bit of extra pressure. Um, and that laxity lets us know what, what do these hips look like, um, how likely is this dog to develop hip arthritis down the road, um, and what are the genetics it carries for hip dysplasia in a numerical value um, to apply to your breeding program.